welcome back to the Chop Life channel where we chop life and life doesn't chop you. Listen, in this video, man's gonna be doing a story time about the time I went on a two man step with my virgin friend. So, one of my virgin friends wanted to go on a two man step with me. But this guy's been malnourished from any female touch his whole life. The closest this guy's got to getting any is back when he used to get breastfed by his Marge blood. And apparently even she only done that a couple times. Cause he told me he used to suck those nipples so hard she was in pain. So I told him broski, I get it you was young but that's a wicked mistake still. I told him bro you gotta be gentle with the nipples, them bad boys are sensitive you know them boys there. TTs now, nah, I had to give him a game plan. And not any game plan, blood. My game plan. I told them rule number one. Don't enter the club sober. I made that mistake one time and one time only. The last time I did that, I nearly cried when talking to a female blood. Yeah, alcohol equals confidant. And rule number two. Always warm up. Don't enter the club and showboat straight away with a 10 10 Cause I'll be real, if you do that kind of shit, you're getting subbed off. The first 15 minutes, you want to keep the ball, play it along the back. Right now, you only want to target the 3 out of 10s. And if she's a fat thing, that's extra bonus points, blood, cause she'll do anything for her mackies after the club. And once you've bagged the 3 out of 10, you tell her you're gonna go to the toilet, blood. Tell her you'll come back and find her in a bit. And then you avoid her for the rest of the night. Listen, we ain't playing in the Premier League right now. It's a Sunday league thing. Roll on, roll off. Yeah, you can sub her back on if you need a last minute goal, blood. Meanwhile now, this is where you shoot your shot with a 10 10s. Yeah, I can't lie, I have about a 30% success rate with these. Sometimes you get lucky, but most of the time you don't. Now when there's 15 minutes until the club closes, yeah, you better go find that 3 out of 10 you bagged earlier, otherwise you're leaving the club on your own to go home and have a lonely ass wank blood. And lastly, don't buy a girl a drink unless you've already kissed her and she's touched her with Dini. And if she doesn't run away after touching her with Dini and realising it's 90% jeans and 10% dick, yeah, she a keeper. Two twos now, yeah, he accepts the terms and conditions so we make our way to the club with a couple Maggies. But I be real, my boy doesn't really drink like that. He's one Maggie in and he's already feeling like Superman. Now he's there scouting out girls on a train, pointing them out. I'm like, broski, listen, half of the girls you're pointing at, yeah, they're wearing school uniform or they look underage. It's a mad thing. But he's telling me he likes women in uniform and that. I said, broski, that's fine. But them man, there are kids. Stay focused, blood. We're here on a mission, blood. Don't go off and do some side quest. Two twos now. We get to the club. And I turn my back for one second, blood. And this guy's already chatting to a beanie. But then I got a closer look at her. I said, nah, blood. I pulled him to one side. I know I told you to warm up and fat things are an extra bonus point and that. But you're taking the piss, blood. This bitch done look like she had a brain tumor growing from her chin, blood. Unless you're packing 12 inches, you ain't even making it past her fanny flaps, blood. But then I saw the girl she was with and ugh, she a baddie. I told him forget everything I just said, you can take one for the team. Two twos now, my boy and that beast he was with introduces me to that beast's friends. And I be will, she was giving me the eyes, you know, I was thinking, you know what? Scrap the warm up blood, I'm going straight to the rainbow flicks. Two twos now, we're all just chatting and my boy asked if we should go to the bar and get some more drink of woonies. And now I'm breaking my own rules blood, cause I've only just met this bitch, but I said fuck it, let's get some drinks. So we all head up to the bar now, my boy gets his thing a drink, I get my thing a drink. But when I turn round now, my boy's thing is back to a drink already blood. And she has the cheek to ask for another one. I thought with a fat thing like that, by the end of the night, my guy's gonna end up in his overdraft. Two twos now, we're sitting at one of the booths and I start lips in my thing. But you know them ones there when the lips in sessions is so elite, you just forget to breathe blood. I was slowly suffocating. But yeah, it, it was worth it. 
Meanwhile, I see my boy kissing his thing. I thought, yeah, broski, do your thing with that fat thing. I don't judge. But then I see him go for a neck kiss. But her quadruple chin had 99 defense blood. That motherfucker was shielding a whole neck. Two twos now, it's 2am and I'm trying to secure the clock. So I'm asking, I listen, girls, what's the pattern after this? And they're saying they're going back to a hotel because they're from Manchester. And my thing tells me they got two rooms as well. I thought the rumours were correct. The deal has been confirmed. My Wadini's getting active tonight. Two twos now, we make our way back to their hotel. I go into my thing's room. My boy goes into his thing's room. But you see me, man's got football at 8 a.m. the next day, you know. So I'm really not looking to stay the night. You see me, I'm looking to rass and run. The sling and slide, you know them boy there. So I need to score early. So I pick my thing up now and dash her on the bed. But I'll be real, I didn't realise how light this thing was, blood, because I nearly put her head through the bloody ceiling. Two twos now, I'm lips in her, but I'll be real, I'm a bit nervous, because uh, she a buddy. So my Wadini's getting a bit of stage fright, blood, so I need to buy myself some time, because my thing's not rising. So I go straight to eating that nani. That shit even smelt freshly washed, blood, I was pleasantly surprised. But yeah, my thing was still not rising, so I had to increase her legs onto my shoulders so I can get a whiff of that booty hole. And yeah, that did the job. Now my thing's as stiff as my cum sock blood, so I get straight to work, baby. But I be real, the nuns were so good it had my legs shaking. And now she's asking me why I'm shaking. I said, babes, you know what? <laughs> it's a bit chalet. Two twos now, I got the job done, and I tell her, babes, I got a dip. And now she's looking all sad as if I've just used her for sex. Two twos now, I leave my room to go collect my boy, but my boy's door's already open. So I thought, you know what, let me have a sneak peek. Man them, this guy had the girl in a dog a rooney position dishing out back shots. But tell me why they was both fully clothed, blood. I be real, man had to rub my eyes and look again, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. But I thought, cool, I'ma let my guy do his thing, I left on my own. So I spoke to him the next day, now I asked him, listen broski, what, you get the job done though? And he said, uh, sorta. Two twos now, he's telling me he gave her back shots fully clothed until he nutted in his jeans. But I mean, at the end of the day, I can't judge, a nut is a nut. But listen, if you did enjoy that video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.